create uh, in Revit this kind of uh, lighting fixture. Uh, if uh, I make a section here, this is the ceiling, right? My lighting fixture kind of flash the ceiling and goes up, right? You see a little, a little bit of this actually, or none. And here we're gonna have our lighting source. So, uh, in addition to this, also what um, I want to get here is uh, I want to be able to create a parameter that will control the total length of my lighting fixture, and at the same time. So it, this parameter also is going, to work, is going to work both ways. We want to control the actual uh, casing and also we control the actual lighting source. So when my lighting source, uh, when my fixture or my geometry um, goes bigger or larger or longer, if you want, the lighting source also will follow. Okay, so that's the idea for today. For that, we're going to start... Um, Revit, and we're going to start working with a family. Since this uh, lighting fixture is coming to be uh, on the ceiling, the ceiling is going to be like we call the host. It's going to host this family. So we will pick this one. Linear lighting fixture ceiling base. This is very important. We start from this, um, uh, from this template, okay, for this uh, family to work. So linear lighting fixture ceiling base, hit open. As you can see, we have here our lighting source. Now uh, go change the unit to millimeters. So it's okay, and that's it. Okay, so let's start working with this. Now this is plan view. Let's see. Let's go to the front. See what we have so far in here. We have floor, we have the ceiling. This is going to be very important. If you want, okay, oh, it's already named. It's very good. Okay, this name here, the ceiling. This uh, plan, uh, this uh, reference plane right here is called the ceiling. And this is the floor. So my lighting fixture is going to go somewhere here. Okay, let me go to the left and let's start working with this thing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an extrusion, right? So having this, this right here is the lighting source and this is the ceiling. Uh, I'm gonna make this 300 by 300, okay? And I'm gonna make the thickness of the walls about uh, five millimeters or something like that. Or you can use uh, any any dimensions you like. Okay, so let's start working with this thing. Real quick, I'm going to create an extrusion. Right, and um, I'm just gonna go for a, I'm gonna pick a line and make this 150. to the side and I, I'm going to go 300 up right so and also I need to pick up the ceiling with no offset no need an offset for that so I pick the ceiling right there uh, and I'm gonna make some trim. And I'm gonna accept here. Let's see the go to the top. And this is my fixture right here. Okay, um, I'm gonna make these two meters. Great. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I need to pay attention here. 
um, I'm going to create a parameter. Okay, so I got take this dimension, this two meter, and also I'm going to constrain this. So any change I do, I go from the center. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna uh, create a parameter. Actually, I'm not gonna create a parameter. I'm going to I'm going to use an existing parameter in this family to control this dimension. Okay, so the existing parameter I'm going to use is this one that you can see right here. Light source, no, not this one, right? This one right here. Uh, emit from light length. Right now it's 600, so this yellow thing is about 600. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, this 2000 uh, dimension turn into a parameter, and that parameter is going to be emit light uh, length. So once that happens, um, this sliding feature will con uh, this this parameter will control how long um, is uh, uh, what is the distance between these two reference fr uh, planes. Okay, so let's see. Uh, and then of course I'm gonna get my geometry and I'm going to lock my geometry to do the reference plane. So when I change what, what I'm trying to get with that by doing that, what, what I'm trying to get is I'm trying to control the length. Of my actually lighting source and the length uh, of my geometry both at the same time with one single parameter okay so let's see if we can tr we can try that so this is my parameter I'm not gonna create a parameter I'm just gonna go here and I go for lighting source light length and as you can see now this turned into 600 I don't need to attach my lighting source because my, my lighting source is already attached, so I don't have to do nothing for, to my lighting source, it's just fine. But I do want to have to attach my geometry to these planes. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, hit align, make sure you get the geometry, and make sure you lock the geometry. And the same thing here. Make sure you lock the geometry. Okay, so let's see if now this thing is working. I'm going to turn that this into a 2000 and let's see what happens. Okay, as um, I was expecting, um, now my lighting source go for 2000 and my actually uh, lighting fixture or geometry if you want also go to 2000. So they are both of them sync and they are both of them controlled with one single parameter. That's, uh, that's just great. So let's finish this because right now what we have here is just a kind of like a block, right? So if if I put that into a project, um, I mean this is just a solid block. So what what I need to do is I need to make a hole on this so the light can go out. So for that I'm gonna use the void. Mm, yeah. So let's go back to the left. Um, yes, I'm gonna go to the left and okay. One thing I wanted to do is also move my lighting source to inside of my um, uh, inside of my lighting fixture. So I will go here 120, I don't know, 150, which is halfway, 150, 140. That's a matter really. I can put it right there. Yeah, it's telling me that uh, this is solid and the light won't go out. Yeah, that's, I'm fine with that. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to lock my lighting source so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so let's uh, carve this piece so we can get something inside. Um, I'm going to do this by inserting right here a void. So void is right here and it, it has to be an extrusion void. So I'm going to pick aligns and I'm gonna make this five millimeters. Yeah, it's gonna be tight, okay. Five millimeters here, five millimeters here, and five millimeters here. Great. Um and you know I'm gonna go five millimeter outside so I make sure I cut the ceiling. Sometimes uh, you don't cut the ceiling. Sometimes when you it, it's the same it's the same plane um you don't actually cut the ceiling so that can be a problem. So I'm gonna make sure my void uh, surpass the ceiling line 
so I'm, I'm absolutely positive that my boy is, is cutting through the ceiling okay so I just want to make sure that is the case don't want to have to go back to it so I'm cutting the ceiling right and there we go. And this one and now I'm going to go to the top and fix my boy what I'm going to do is I'm going to get five millimeters from each side um, creating a reference plane also of five millimeters make sure you're close enough five millimeters here and five millimeters here so now I'm going to establish this as a fix as a fixed thing And I'm gonna log this. By doing that, I, I guarantee myself that this distance is gonna be five millimeters, no matter what, no matter what happens. So let's do the same in here. I do this outside. Yeah. And also I want to log. Very important this distance. Okay. So now I can get my boy. And lock here. Make sure. Yeah, it's to the inside. Great. Right? So here I can do the same. I can just do on a line AL go for lines a little here. Okay. So let's see what we have so far. Okay, it's great, but uh, notice this one. The ceiling is actually passing through. This is a very important step. What we need to do is we need to cut the ceiling with the boy. Okay, currently, as you can see my lighting fixture is not cutting through, I cannot see inside okay, so my ceiling continues I don't need that, I don't want that, I want uh, my ceiling to be cut right here where my, li where, my lighting, uh, where my lighting fixture is so for that what I'm going to have to do is I need to cut the ceiling with the void uh, so let's see how it's possible okay, let's do it from here and I'm going to do this, select this Cut and select the ceiling. Okay, maybe you can do it from the 3D and probably it's much better. Let me see. Select, cut the ceiling. There you go. So now I cut the ceiling with my actual light infection. So as you can see now when I look inside, I can actually see my lighting fixture, right? That's what we want. Okay, so let's see if this thing works. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this inside the project and see if I can uh, get this any dimension I want. So I'm going to hit load into project. I have this phone. Move it to the 3D. And I'll put it here. Move it to the 3D. And as you can see, my uh, lighting feature is cutting through my ceiling, which is exactly what I want. And not only that, You can actually change the lens for anything you actually want. Let's say you want this to be a thousand. Hit apply. Hit OK. So now it's only a thousand. Okay. Good, good, very good. So that's what uh, I, I wanted to show you today, okay? So thank you very much.